Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you Tina's secret recipe for flawless healed results. Now I know that every artist does their aftercare completely different from the next, but this is Tina's tried and true method that she's perfected over the last 18 years of being a permanent makeup artist. Step one, absorb. Right after your procedure, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is take a clean tissue paper and gently blot the area to absorb any excess lymph. So you'll wanna do that for the first five minutes after your procedure so that you prevent it from hardening over the surface of your procedure area. Step two, wash. This is gonna be for the first seven days. You'll wanna wash the area every day to make sure that you're removing any buildup of bacteria, oils, or anything that your procedure area could come into contact with. Don't worry, this will not remove the pigment from the skin. So with this step, you'll wanna gently wash the area with an unscented, non-harmful soap, like Cetaphil, Dial Soap, or even a baby shampoo. With the tip of your fingertips, just gently wash the area with water and the soap. Rub the area for about 10 seconds and then wash it with water to make sure that all of the soap is removed. To dry, gently pat the area with a clean tissue or towel and do not use any products with acids or exfoliants. Step three, moisturize. You're gonna to wanna to do this for the first seven days and you're going to want to apply a rice grain amount of Tina Davies aftercare on a clean cotton swab to the affected area. Be sure to not over apply this product. You don't want to suffocate the skin. The product should be barely noticeable on the area. Never put the product on a wet or damp tattoo. Absorb, wash, and moisturize should have you covered for a speedy recovery, but here's some other important reminders. One, use a fresh pillowcase while you sleep. Two, let any scabbing fall away on its own. Do not pick the scab. Three, no facials, Botox, or any other chemical treatments for at least four weeks after your procedure. Four, avoid hot, sweaty exercise for at least one week. Five, avoid direct sun exposure or tanning beds for at least four weeks after your procedure. Six, avoid long, hot showers for at least 10 days. Seven, avoid sleeping on your face for the first 10 days. Eight, Avoid face down swimming in swimming pools, lakes, or hot tubs for the first 10 days. Nine, avoid topical makeup and sunscreen on the area. 10, do not rub, pick, or scratch the area. Here's a quick tip for showering. Limit your showers to five minutes so that you do not create too much steam. While you're washing your body, keep your face out of the water. Wash your hair at the end of your shower, and if your face does happen to get wet, make sure to pat it dry immediately after your shower.